My name is Muiwa Adedayo. I am, a, I am an educational neuroscientist and also a lecturer. I published about uh, six books and this is one of my books. It was actually published in the United States. And today I conduct what I call a masterclass in educational neuroscience. Okay, not across, not only across Nigeria, but all over okay, the continent. I've been privileged okay to to train maybe people from ghana from equatorial guinea and from south africa and in my training i've had school owners okay, teachers people with master's uh, degree and uh, students of education etc and uh, the reason for this video is uh, just to uh, help those who are currently in training and those who will join the training later on okay to have uh, this maybe physical Okay, access okay, to neuroscience and educational neuroscience uh, kind of uh, teachings. But before I go into this topic, I just want to quickly acknowledge uh, those individuals that have contributed immensely okay, to my understanding of neuroscience and educational neuroscience. People like Professor Eric Kandel, uh, Professor who is a Nobel laureate, okay, Professor Edva uh, Mozart, also a Nobel laureate, and his wife. Uh, uh, Professor and uh, Mrs. Maybrit Edva. I want to really uh, uh, thank uh, people like uh, Stanford University Professor uh, Andrew Huberman. I want to really thank a uh, Nobel laureate who is also a lecturer at University uh, College London, Professor John O'Keefe. Okay, the one who first okay the, uh, uh, discovered okay actual potential when he uh, inserted an ele electrode and record okay the firing. Okay, of a cell called a neuron that is in the brain. So there are so many people that I would have really, really loved to acknowledge, but because of our time, I just want to say thank you to every one of them. So today's topic is educational neuroscience, the neurocircuitry or circuit. You can say a neurocircuit or a circuit. And simply, what is a, a neurocircuit? The place as I am talking to you, I do not forget that we have everything that a living thing, a mammal, primate, okay, um, those those things, okay, that share some common features, okay, with human beings. Everything that it can do has a neural circuit that is dedicated to that thing. And before I go, go deeply, okay, maybe into the analysis of what I have written on the board, uh, please, I just want to quickly say that uh, this is uh, what is called a neuron. A neuron is a cell okay in our nervous system okay they control the maybe the reception and transmission transmission of, of all okay sensory and motor signals in our uh, body and in our brains we have about 186 to 100 billion uh, neurons okay 86 to 100 billion neurons okay this is uh, the the human brain this part is known as the prefrontal cortex this small brain here is known as the cerebellum so the entire brain is okay this upper layer is referred to as the new cortex okay the brain contains about four loops though there is one that is referred to as the insula but that one is located inside the brain okay if you look at it this is the frontal lobe this is the temporal lobe this is the occipital this is the pareta okay, back and the cerebrum that I just showed to you. So please come over or come along with me while I take you to the whiteboard for explicit, explicit explanation. So uh, the human brain contains about what? Okay, 86 to 100 billion neurons. Then we have what is called assemblies and populations of cells. Okay, for every activity that we know how to do. As I'm speaking to you now, it is because of what my language uh, circuit is active. And as I'm gesticulating, it's because was okay the, my muzzle uh, kind of cortex okay is working fine. Fine. Okay, the circuit we con controlling the, the movement of my gesture is working fine. Then what is a, a neural circuit? Okay, a neural circuit simply it is just like a cognitive space or a cortical column in the brain that is dedicated to a particular activity. Uh, a neural circuit is a mental space or a cortical column in the brain that is dedicated okay to a specific behavior if you know how to run for example okay let me even use a uh, toby amuson and Le leonel messi okay do not forget these two individuals 
world-renowned athletes, they have bought a specific and dedicated circuit for sprinting for Toby and for playing football for Messi. Everything that an individual is good at, everything, every behavior that you can successfully execute has a neuro circuit or a circuit okay for such activity. Let me use uh, this. Now, if you look at okay, this this is an electronic uh, circuit. Okay, all these things can be referred to as various uh, circuits because each of them okay performs a particular uh, function. Okay, this could, could be what was it what I refer to as what as a student. Okay, uh, you have what you call a learning and academic uh, circuit. So the, as a student, okay, learns this circuit will become more pronounced. Okay, as a student, uh, maybe learns new new thing. That information, okay, will be stored here. Okay, and as the student grows. Okay, maybe journeys throughout his or educational, okay, uh, maybe educational system. Maybe after secondary school, the student uh, goes to the university. After university, the student goes to, for, for his or master. So do not forget, this circuit will always be robust in the student's uh, brain. So that is just the idea. Then the brain has various, okay, a circuit that control each activity okay in our nervous system in our in in our nervous system so that is just the idea everything that we know how to do has a neural circuit that is dedicated to that activity then the types of neural circuits we have just like i said we have a neural circuit for language if you know how to speak if you know how to do public presentation, just know that there's a circuit for that activity. We have learning and academic okay, neuro circuit that I've just explained to us. We have sports okay, uh, circuit. We have business for businessmen, people like Mark Zuckerberg of uh, Facebook, okay, uh, uh, people like Aliko Dangote. Okay, these are individuals whose business circuit is well defined. Okay, the more they get new insights, Okay, the more the connection, okay, in that space, in that cognitive column or in that cognitive, uh, that, that cortical map, okay, the, 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 the neurons there, they keep creating what, what is called uh, synapses or uh, synapses, new connections, so that it becomes so solid, so profound. So anything that has to do with business, all they need to do is just to go back to their business neural circuit and the idea will just pop into their consciousness. The components of circuit, okay, we have components of circuit, like if you look at this circuit, for example, okay, let's say this one is, is the language, okay, uh, the, the, the learning and academic, okay, new circuit, okay, this one could be the, what, uh, the circuit of for speech production, for speech production, this could be what, the circuit for what, okay, uh, for sports, this could be uh, a circuit for, for business. So in our brains, we have various circuits that are dedicated for different and diverse activities. So um, each of these circuits is what is populated by cells or neurons. And these neurons keep making connection. As we learn new things that is, that is connected to that activity, okay, new synapses are formed so that that knowledge can be made permanent in our brains so these are just what the ideas that are con connected to what uh, to the human neural circuit especially to learning and academic uh, uh, circuit so it is it uh, i w want to uh, really tell us as new educators that do not forget as we are teaching these students that they are they are learning an academic neural circuit we keep expanding and the connection the synapses okay between and among uh, these uh, neurons we keep multiplying the more they multiply okay the uh, the more expert okay the student okay becomes in that activity especially in the education sector so thank you uh, please tell other people about the master class in education neuroscience science that my team and i are currently doing teachers are, uh, that we are currently empowering teachers okay in or, or that we are currently empowering teachers all over okay africa 
Thank you so very much and I shall see you in the next video.